Good morning, Foley High School. Will you please stand for a moment of silent meditation and remain standing as we honor our nation in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. And now, join me for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Foley High School. Welcome to the Lion Pride News Network. Good morning, Foley High School. I'm Mr. Bean. Everybody is looking good out there with all of their homecoming dress down attire. Let's keep it up the rest of the week. Let's see what activities we have going on around school today. Any juniors who help decorate the hall who would like to ride the junior float in the parade need to see Miss Champion sometime today. Lulu's Haunted House will be held at Lulu's Under the Bridge in Gulf Shores on October 24th and 31st from 6 to 9 p.m. A $5 donation will benefit Baldwin County Schools' Fun Arts Program. Anyone that needs service hours and is interested in volunteering in the Haunted House should see Ms. Terry Smith in the Art Room, Room 707. Student Council has begun collecting for the United Way campaign this year. Many local agencies are supported by the Baldwin County United Way. One of those agencies is Covenant Hospice. Covenant Hospice has been providing care when it counts the most for more than 25 years. They serve over 6,000 patients and families each year throughout Northwest Pensacola and South Alabama. Their mission is to ensure that patients live as fully and comfortably as possible, accepting all patients regardless of the ability to pay. They fulfill this mission by offering hospice services in a variety of settings and focusing on specialized care for those diagnosed with life-limiting illness. When you see a student council member with a donation bucket, please give generously. That hike! Just a reminder that the dress down day for Thursday has changed. It is now one wild night at the Oscars. Get out your red carpet gear and get ready to strut your stuff. Today's weather is a high of 82 and a low of 66. And tomorrow, if you're going to the homecoming parade, it's going to be chilly with a 30% chance of rain. So you might want to bring a jacket. The Lighthouse Youth Task Force will meet Thursday in the library during both breaks. The recruitment for new members will be held October 22nd through November 2nd. Stop by Ms. Beverly's room in the ninth grade office to get paperwork. All right, class, put your hands down. Future Teachers of Alabama, FTA, will have a mandatory meeting on Wednesday, October 24th in room 808 during second break. Anyone that has first break should stop by Ms. Kilzer's room before that Wednesday to get a pass. Today for lunch we're having pepperoni pizza, green salad, squash, oatmeal cookie, and don't forget your milk. The senior class is planning a trip to Universal Studios on May 4th. The cost is $400, which includes the cost of park tickets, concert tickets, transportation, and hotel accommodations. Listen up for future announcements about the trip and the parent meeting. Good morning, Foley High School. Thanks for joining us at the Lion Pride News Sports Center. Today we have a bunch of announcements, so listen up. It's Spirit Night again at Saxby's. Come out and support the soccer teams tonight from 5 to 8 p.m. dine-in only. Make sure you mention Foley High Soccer when ordering. Any boys that are trying out for soccer need to stop by Coach B's room 407 before school, during break, or after school to pick up an evaluation form. Any players, girls, or boys that did not attend the parent meeting last week need to go by Coach B's room immediately to pick up the necessary paperwork for tryouts. Chris Dillon buttons will be sold at the game Friday night. 
They are $5 and will be available inside the main gate. Proceeds help support Chris with his fight. Please help support this worthwhile cause. If you ordered an orange Chris Dillon shirt, you may pick those up in Miss Champion's room after third block today. This will be the last week that these shirts are sold on our campus. Online voting for last week's Game of the Week against Fairhope is still open until Thursday. Go to the link on the screen to vote for Foley. The team with the highest number of votes receives a cash prize at the end of the year. So please help our school by going online to vote. Coach Hunter is still looking for male students that may be interested in helping with the basketball program this season. He is looking for candidates to assist with daily practice and game procedures. Anyone interested in the position should stop by and see Coach Hunter in room 903. This week we'll be observing National Teen Driver Safety Week on our campus. Please join us in this life-saving initiative. We all can make a difference in the lives of our peers by simply being a role model and by supporting initiatives that raise awareness of this epidemic to help create positive change. And that's all of your Lion Pride news for today. We'll be right back here tomorrow for more homecoming fun and announcements from around school. Have a wacky Wednesday, but not too wacky. This is the Lion Pride News.